Today we're going to be looking at Mimikyu and specifically with Terra Fighting Form. Alright, today we're going to be looking at Mimikyu. Mimikyu is awesome. It is a Ghost Fairy type Pokemon. Ability is Disguise, which basically allows it to take a free hit without really taking any damage. Once the Disguise breaks, you will take a small amount of damage, but otherwise you are good. Defense 80, Special Defense 105. So it's got a little bit of uh, defensive bulk here. Attack 90, Special Attack 50. Obviously this is a physical attacker. HP 55 and Speed 96. It's got a pretty decent speed stat, but it's HP has no bulk. It is a pretty low HP stat here, so that is something you need to know about Mimikyu. Otherwise, let's take a look at its resistances and everything. Alright, for its resistances, it is going to be immune to normal fighting and dragons. That is nice to have. And it is going to also have a one-fourth resistance to bug type, so it's going to have a, a really strong resistance to bugs. It is going to be weak to ghost and steel types by two times, so just keep that in mind as well. Now in this build, we are going to be looking at changing our Mimikyu over to a Terra-type Pokemon. So what that's going to do to its resistance is, it's going to change everything pretty much. It's going to be weak to Flying, Psychic, and Fairy all by a 2x. It will have no immunities, and it will be resistant to three different things, Rock, Bug, and Dark. So you've got a little bit of a swap here, but you can see there's going to be some things that normally you'd be weak against as a regular Mimikyu that you're now going to at least be strong against, which is going to also change your weaknesses a little bit. But the whole point of this is to catch people off guard with your Terra typing. All right, so for the first set here, this is going to be pretty straightforward with the exception of we are going to do the fighting Terra type here, and that's going to catch a lot of people off guard. Most people are expecting the ghost or maybe even a fairy type uh, Terra to come out, but not the fighting. It's a little unusual. I haven't seen anybody else do it, and I've been having a lot of fun with this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and look what we got here. This is going to be a Swords Dance set as well. And this is really going to boost and bolster our attack stat so that we can really go out there and do as much damage as we can. So we're going to do attack 252, speed 252, HP 4, swords dance, drain punch for the win. Now as far as ability, item, and nature, disguise is the ability Mimikyu has, so you're going to be stuck with that. But you can either do jolly or adamant, whichever one you want to bolster its attack or speed. And then I'm going to go with life orb for this set here. Um, you're going to lose a little HP every, every turn with Life Orb, that's fine. It's going to bolster your attack even further, and with Drain Punching, you're going to be able to recover most of that anyways, so you should be pretty good. But let's move on to a more interesting set. Okay, so if you don't want to do just a straightforward, full offensive Mimikyu, and you want to do something a little different, then maybe a bulkier set is the way to go for you, and this can actually be a lot of fun. So HP 252, Special Defense 216, Defense 16, and Attack 24. That's going to give us a little bit of bulk. Now the reason that we're not putting a lot into the physical defense here is because we are going to be using bulk up, and that's going to be able to give us a plus one to both attack and defense every time we use it. All right, so we do have that bulk up here, like I said, plus one to attack physical defense, and that's going to go in conjunction with any of these attacks, really, but it's really going to be here to help bulk up the Drain Punch, because that's really what we're looking for with that Terra Fighting type. That's going to give us uh, a stab once we switch to Terra type, and that's going to give us the Terra type stab as well. So we're going to have a nice increase in damage just from that, and then when you add or layer in those plus ones from bulk up, then it's going to be even stronger. So because bulk up doesn't do anything for the special defense, that's why we threw a lot more EVs into the special defense than the defense. Also with that, we're going to be using the careful nature that's going to increase the special defense even more and put the base stat around 330, depending on if your IVs are perfect or not, which obviously I recommend they should be. That being said, items we can do either the citrus berry or leftovers. Either of those are fine, and there's a couple other items you can use as well. But I like getting a little bit more HP back as we go here. If you wanted to throw a life orb on, you totally could do that because you are going to get some HP back with the drain punch. But because we're going for bulk here on a Pokemon that's not especially bulky with that base stat of 55 for HP, then uh, I would recommend trying to just get as much HP back as you can per, uh, per round. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. You send out your Mimikyu, they have something out, they don't like the, the matchup, so they switch it to something like a Tyranitar, something that is a pretty big threat to a Mimikyu. So what happens? Well, normally this Tyranitar would one-shot the Mimikyu with Stone Edge. You can see it does up to 121% damage, but it's a guaranteed one-hit KO no matter what at this, at this 
stage of the game with a ghost fairy type mimic you. However, if you were to go ahead and Terra type and haven't used any bulk ups or anything like that, you're going to see that damage basically gets cut in half for both Stone Edge and Crunch, and you're now surviving the T-Tar. So that's awesome in and of itself. Plus, just as a zero, a plus bonus of zero to the Drain Punch, you're still doing 82 to 99% damage. So you're almost one hit KOing that T-Tar now just out the gate. There's nothing more you need to even really worry about. But if you go ahead and you have your plus one, obviously the T-Tar's damage goes down even further. And you're now one-shotting that T-Tar, doing 123 to 145% damage with Drain Punch per hit to that T-Tar. That's pretty cool. So something that would normally be able to kind of wipe the floor with you, you've now turned the tables and it is dead. And you've healed yourself completely with Drain Punch. Alright, that does it for this short video. If it helped you out at all, like and subscribe. If you like the build, let me know. And if you think you have a better one, or you have a Terra Typing that you just think is the best, put it down in the comments. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing everybody next time. But until then, take care.